Hispanic Americans, the largest minority group in the U.S., are now reaching out and establishing ties with U.S. Jewry and Israel. InfoLive TV spoke with Raul Izaguirre, the veteran leader and driving force behind one of the leading Latino advocacy groups, the National Council of La Raza, and their American Jewish Committee host during a recent visit to Israel. We uh, constitute a group of uh, leaders from the Hispanic community in the United States, which is a uh, 45 million strong and growing presence in our country. Uh, our, our community is emerging politically, economically, and we're at the point where much of our leadership is interested in foreign affairs and particularly the relationship between Israel and the United States and the conflict in the Middle East. The group's luminaries from across the American Latino landscape toured the country's tourist icons and received briefings from political and academic leaders. Director of the AJC's Latino and Latin American Institute, Dina Siegel Van talked about the visit's significance. It's the first time that um, uh, we are co-hosting um, this trip with a uh, major national Latino organization, with the, which is the National Council of La Raza, uh, which understands very clearly why uh, Israel is so central to Latino-Jewish relations. We want to understand what's happening in Israel. Our government has a huge commitment to this country and this nation. And we want to understand the issues uh, surrounding the conflict and also learn from uh, Israel. It's a great story about the development of a people and uh, e the economy, the technology that's been developed in this nation is, is something that we want to learn about. Do you feel the Hispanic American community can learn something of Israel's and the American Jewish community's uh, involvement in politics as an APAC regarding Latin America? I believe that uh, we have a lot to learn from the American Jewish uh, community. Their involvement in foreign affairs has been an example of how an ethnic group can affect American foreign policy. Latin America has been neglected by American foreign policy, and we want to use the same techniques and the same approaches that American Jewry has uh, used uh, to make sure that we make uh, Latin America a priority for American foreign policy. We, as Latinos in the United States, have a, a, both a right and an obligation to comment on public policy, that uh, the, the state of Israel has a right to exist, that it uh, conforms to our best uh, political values, that it's an ally of the United States, uh, that we need to engage in, in this process as a, as a matter of uh, self-interest, but as well as good citizenship, and that we welcome the, uh, the alliance with the American Jewish community to solve the problems that we have in the United States as a minority who gets discriminated against. Historically, the Jewish community has made a large investment in fostering relations with the African-American community in the States. Uh, not so much has been heard with the Hispanic community. Why do you think that's changing now? It is changing because the demographics have changed. Our numbers have increased, uh, uh, and I think the American Jewish community now understands that uh, uh, we have some serious problems and that a large group of people need, needs to find their political voice and, and uh, needs to have allies. And, and so it's, it's, uh, it's, there's never been any tension between the Jewish community and the Hispanic community there's been indifference, and I think that's something that we're trying to eradicate. Are you going to recommend to Hispanic Americans to visit Israel in the future and in the wake of this visit? We're not only going to recommend that they come to Israel, we're going to recommend that they support the right of Israel to exist. For InfoLife TV, this has been Dave Bender in Jerusalem at the American Jewish Committee.